Hello, my name is Arkelia Todd, and the purpose of this video is to teach God's child to stand not easily broken. The content will be taken from the book, Date Smart, Practical Biblical Dating Lessons for All the Single Ladies. For a copy of the book or free workbook, email me at golden5002 at aol.com. This is a series on growing spiritually sound and um, spiritually mature in relationships. It has a workbook with questions and answers. Feel free to listen to the assessment question. Answer it for yourself before continuing on with the lesson. And please share this spiritual wisdom for relationships with your mate your small group, Sunday school group, sorority, fraternity, anyone who you think could use some spiritual maturity. This week we will be studying from chapter 11, the Spider-Man syndrome. Question number one, how easy is it for a man's involvement with another woman to elicit an envious reaction from you? What can you do instead of remaining envious? The Spider-Man syndrome. God wants daughters who are intelligent like Abigail, who help like Eve, who comfort like Rebecca, who work like Ruth, and who will receive goodness like Rachel. Do you have these qualities? God wants his daughters established so that what a man does or says does not trip her. The Spider-Man syndrome is where a guy will perform in front of you with another girl, hoping to get an envious reaction. In the Spider-Man 2 movie, the main character, Peter Parker, was on the outs with his girlfriend. He wanted to get her attention. He took a pretty girl on a date to the establishment where his ex-girlfriend worked. The Spider-Man character danced his heart out with his new female friend. He dipped her in the face of his ex to get a reaction from her, as if to say, this could be you. Having all this fun, see what you are missing. She has taken your place. His date realized he was using her and said something to the effect, you did all of this for her and walked away. A woman needs to realize two things. She needs to realize when the man she is dating is trying to get her attention by flaunting another girl in front of her. Second, a lady should realize when a man is using her to get someone else's attention to make that female jealous. When you walk with God, a normally chaotic situation becomes your teacher. When you don't walk with him, there is only chaos. A normally chaotic situation became my teacher at swing class. I look forward to going to swing class. It gave me a chance to get out and socialize. I arrived early and was sitting waiting for the instructor to get started. I presumed I saw Cortez walk in with a female. However, I didn't look their way. I kept looking forward, not making a big issue of him or giving him my attention. When the instructor started practice, I was paired with him. While he and I danced, I noticed he kept looking at the lady he brought. I looked at something else. When I did notice when I did notice her, she was gorgeous and very well put together. She wore a low cut dress that revealed her cleavage. She was truly a knockout. The previous week, Cortez said he was attracted to me. This week he brings a hottie to the place where we interact. Why do you think he did that? Could it have been he wanted to make me envious? Moreover, I may have been resentful for a quick second, but I remembered my choice to not be covetous. I could choose to let to not let Cortez's actions upset me. He even asked during our time dancing together if he had offended me. I told him no, but wondered why he would ask that. When I got home, I realized Cortez was probably accustomed to women treating him as if he was someone special. He probably didn't know how to take a woman who was not all over him, especially after he said he was attracted to me. My poised demeanor after seeing him with another female was not the spiteful response he was more than likely expecting. Question number one. How easy is it for a man's involvement with another woman to elicit an envious reaction from you? What can you do instead of remaining envious? 
Remain poised regardless of what is happening. Remain poised. Choose a sophisticated stance instead of envy or spite. Question number two, how can you demonstrate power when a man announces he is attracted to you, but instead connects with another female? When a lady doesn't react the negative way a man is conditioned to sing, your dignified poise gets his attention in more ways than he ever thought possible. Did Cortez want to see how upset I would get since he had Miss Gorgeous on his arm? After telling me he was attracted to me, the next order of business should have been me giving him my number or asking for his number or me planning for us to get together. Sister was not going to lose her cool behind this man. What? A woman is not falling all over this six foot, seven inch tall, dark and handsome glass of wine. What? A sister is not dropping her panties for this wealthy and handsome hunk. The more he spent time with her, the more I smiled and was the queen God created me to be. At one time after a break in practice, I was standing on the dance floor by myself. Cortez had not rejoined me as my partner. What was I going to do without him? I just waited. I didn't look to see what he was doing or why he wasn't practicing. I didn't look to see what he was doing or why he wasn't practicing. I didn't beg him to join me or complain to the instructor that I didn't have a partner. I grooved to the music all as all the other partners practiced. Like the king throwing the wedding, I carried on just fine. My progression did not stop because Cortez was not there. Sisters, when your life can peacefully carry on even when a man has indicated that he's attracted to you but connects with another female, you are demonstrating power. Question number two. How can you demonstrate power when a man announces he is attracted to you but instead connects with another female? Choose to not lose your cool. Remain dignified. Question number three and the final question for this week. What is the Holy Spirit advising which will bring about comfort and peace? Ladies, when you operate under the influence of the Holy Spirit, situations turn around for your good. Do you know what happened when Cortez finally returned to the dance floor? James put his partner with Cortez and took me as his partner. Now I was dancing with the instructor and he gave me the instructions in my ear. The next thing I knew, Cortez told his partner he had to use the restroom. I didn't see him anymore that night. Many men can dish out their envious plot, but they can't take you at another man's arms. Keeping your cool allows the spirit of frustration he intends for you to not transfer. Instead, the frustration stays with him. Luke chapter 17, verse 20 through 21, King's James Version states, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. In your everyday life, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort you by teaching you how to experience the kingdom of God, which is love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, goodness, fruitfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God would rather you be under the influence of the Holy Spirit than any other influence. He would rather you experience peace than envy. Romans chapter 14 verse 17 explains, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. We mature and leave that envious nature behind. Question number three and the final question for this week. What is the Holy Spirit advising which will bring about comfort and peace? When we usher in the Holy Spirit, that connection leaves little room for jealousy, covetousness, and envy. And we will end this week in prayer. Lord God, thank you for the, your Holy Spirit that we can connect to. So when a normally jealous or covetous situation, it does not affect us in a negative way 
way. Lord God, help us to demonstrate that we have faith in you and that we are your dignified daughters with self-control and a good spirit about ourselves because we're operating in your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Until next week, be blessed and continue to mature in the way and will of God.